Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Hello, this is Hal Coleman, and welcome to yet another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Here with my friend, my mentor, my co-host, and my dear friend, Mr. Online, Mike Stewart. Oh, I like the sound of that, Mr. Online. And you're Mr. Offline, and the two of us together is a perfect blend of success. The two of us together will give you a line and a heartbeat. (laughs) Hey, Mikey. Guess what, uh, you know, uh, I remember when you had your recording studio and if you wanted to have stuff edited and so you just delegated that to your employee or to, to somebody say, here, go edit these tapes, uh, you know, or go set up the studio, go clean the floors. When I had my pest control business, I was sending people out to do stuff, delegating authority every day delegating and giving stuff to my office manager to file, giving her numbers to call. But, you know, we spend our lives delegating stuff. You know, the one thing you can't delegate, you cannot delegate your education. You can't send somebody out and say, hey, go learn this for me. You can't send somebody out and say, go find out all this information. Uh, you, you've got to be in charge of your own education. If you want to, if you have a pest control business or a wildlife business or, or any home service type, any kind of business, I don't care what it is. If you're a lawyer or real estate agent, uh, if you sell shoes, it doesn't matter. If you want to make more sales and you want to understand how to grow your business and generate more profits and, have more employees and manage employees and build teams and put together strategies uh, and build a great future and a great retirement for yourself, you need to get educated on how to do those things. You know, I heard a guy talking uh, the other day in a workshop, Mike, and he said something blew me away. He said, 91% of salespeople have never read a book on sales. Can you believe that? 91% of salespeople have never read a book on selling. They're just winging it. Tribal knowledge. They go into company. People teach them how to do, you know, say, let me show you how to do Let me show you how it works around here. Uh, But you have got to learn. You have got to find good people to learn from. Books, seminars, workshops, uh, webinars there's so much available to you right now to us in the society we live in here in america to get educated uh if you're at, if you're out in uh, running a route all day and you want to know how to make more sales oh man there's tons of sales information you know i used to listen to zig ziglar tony robbins uh you listen to Claude Hopkins books in my vehicle when I would ride around. I could have been listening to music or talk radio, which I did a lot. But a portion of the time that I was in my vehicle, I was getting educated. 
uh, I, I got hired to go down and, and speak at a conference. I, actually, it wasn't a conference. It was a it was a private company, a big chemical manufacturer. They hired me to go down to Orlando and do a one day workshop. And uh, they said, and we'll you know we'll book you a flight and everything. I said, no, I want to drive. And they said, well, we're going to pay for your air, airplane ticket and everything. I said, no, I want to drive. I said, it's about a seven hour drive. And I said, I've got a, uh, uh, I've got a marketing and sales program that I bought that I need to listen to. And I said, I think the whole thing's about four hours long. And I said, I'm really looking forward to this trip because I want to listen to this thing. So I listened to it all the way down there. And, and then I listened to it again on the way back. And, but and and actually, I think it was it was from uh, Zig Ziglar on selling. But if you want to make more money from sales, you got to learn more about selling. If you want to have better performance from your employees, you have to learn how to manage those employees and motivate those employees so that they produce a higher quality and a higher quantity of whatever it is you want. If you want a better team, you need to learn how to build a team. If you want a, your phone to ring more often, you need to learn about marketing, both online and offline, so that you have the a thousand marketing strategies going on out there. Uh, and it's making your phone ring more often. But uh, so many people are so dead gum hard headed and they think they know everything there is to know. And they think if they, you know, I, I had a, uh, Mike, I had an uh, employees one time, somebody, I remember, gosh, this has been how many years ago now? Probably, uh, probably 12 years ago or 14 years ago. Uh, Donald Trump, Tony Robbins, I'm not sure Tony Robbins there, Donald Trump, Zig Ziglar. Uh, it, it was about eight of these top level sales and marketing and success guys all came to, to the World Congress Center for a one day or a two day event. I forget what it is. Uh, and, and, and one of my employees, somebody gave his son two tickets to this thing. And I said, he said, we're going to go to that. So I said, man, that's great. I said, I, and I had something, I don't know if it was a wedding or something. I had to go to that. He invited me to go and I couldn't go. It just crushed me that I couldn't go, but they went to it. And when they came back, now here's Zig Ziglar, all these people on stage telling you how to be successful. And, and when they came back, I said, how'd it go? He said, yeah, he said, ah. He said, the only people that making any money down there is people are selling those, those books and those CDs. I said, no. I said, you know, the only people that are really going to make money are the people that buy those books and CDs and listen to them and read them and do what it says in there. I said, those are the people that will really make money. I said, but the people like you that go down there and sit there with your arms crossed the whole time and your bottom lip pooched out and you poo poo every word that comes out of those people's mouths. I said, you're not ever going to make any more money because you're not receptive to it. Well, well they're just all down there hoopla and wanting to sell their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They were wanting to sell their stuff, but they sure did want you sure should have bought something and taken it home and read it. So some people just refuse to get educated their mindset is just such that pride, fear, jealousy, anxiety, uncertainty, all of these things come into play while people, people won't allow themselves to become educated. So if that's you and you're listening to this right now, I hope you'll take it to heart because you can't delegate your education to other people. Nobody can educate you you if you're not receptive to they can't get educated for you so uh, you need to spend a portion of every day learning something new about whatever it is you need to do better at if it's selling if it's management if it's if it's if it's personal health and fitness if it's mental stability whatever it is meditation uh 
you got to get educated. You have to learn how to do better and apply what you learn. If you do, there's nothing that can stop you from doing anything you want to do. Uh, so with that said, Mike, you want to close it out? Do you have anything to add to that? Well, I can tell you that, that over the years, everything that has been good for me has been the result of me learning something that I was fearful of. You know, doing what I feared to do and overcoming that fear was part of the educational process. And the way I got that educational process was my attitude was I am thirsting for knowledge and I want to trust that the person who's successful at it, like that person on the stage, is the person who's going to convert me from point A to point B. And, and I remember uh, hearing people on the stage and it's, it's, I'll, I'll tell you a little quick story about attitude. Uh, there was an internet marketing seminar, an online seminar, the one that I met Dan Kennedy at in Cincinnati, Ohio. And the price tag of this event was $2,000 for a three-day weekend. And I wanted to go so bad, but I really didn't have the $2,000. Or, the, you know, I barely had enough money for the plane ticket. So I called the promoter. I actually knew the promoter of the event. And I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to come to your event and I will record it for free and make a master product out of your event for free if you'll just let me come to it. Now, that was an offer he couldn't refuse. He was going to have to pay an audiovisual company to run the microphones for the event, you know, play the break music and record it and edit it. That was going to cost him several thousand dollars. So I gave him more value than the ticket to his event. So I'm sitting over there shaking hands with all the speakers. That's the first day I met Dan Kennedy and my good friend Armin Morin and a lot of big time internet marketers. This is in 2002. But I was there as the audio guy, a hired employee. But the thing was, is I wanted the knowledge that those guys had on the stage so bad, I was willing to pay my own plane ticket and work the whole weekend just so I could hear the information. Now, the reason I tell you that is I have worked uh, and spoken at seminars where there were hired help audio guys that were running the equipment. And they're back there on their talkback systems doing that pooched out lip, what a bunch of BS. Look at those guys. All they're trying to do is sell me something. They're so full of crap. And the reason I know is a family member was one of those guys because I listened to what they were saying, making fun of the speakers, talking about what, you know, what a bunch of BS it was and it didn't work and that's stupid. And, and the difference between me as a guy doing it was I wanted an education. I was thirsting for this knowledge. And they resisted the knowledge. They didn't want an education. They wanted to poo-poo on it. They didn't get it. They didn't see it. They didn't open their eyes. They weren't open. So don't let that be you. And I'll tell you the difference is, my family member, which will remain nameless, still has to get on an airplane to trade hours for dollars. And I'm still sitting in front of my computer working with people all over the world without ever getting on an airplane because of the internet from what I learned from those mentors on that stage. And that watching those mentors on the stage made me go up and be brave enough to say, I can do that too. And all I'm saying is everything good that has happened in my life, in fact, the knowledge I learned back in those days I've shared with you. And the difference between me and you and a lot of people that we work with we get the education, we're willing to learn. We used to call it dashboard university, meaning you're driving around, and especially in Atlanta, or you're driving on a long trip, the time to learn is that drive time. You can sit there and listen to music, you can sit there and listen to politics and talk radio, you can get upset about things you have control over, you don't have control over, or you can take that dashboard time and learn something that could change your life. And that's what I did. I'll never forget. I listened to the Internet Masterminds in 2001, and it changed my life. And it was a series of cassette tapes that I played in my car driving around Atlanta working with customers.
How about so, that? So, so I know that mindset, and and and, and I and I it, it breaks my heart when people say, "Eh, that don't work." You know, how do you know it doesn't work? You haven't even tried it. Well, you know, who else is doing it? Well, what they're doing doesn't fit me. You know, it's like that negative roadblock is why people don't get the education they need. And I, I, I'm going to close with this. I remember, you remember the famous story about Henry Ford, one of the greatest industrialists of our century, one of the wealthiest men, started the Ford Motor Company. And, which story? There's a million of well, them. Well, the one about that he's not an educated man. Do you remember that story? He was in court and he was being, he was being contested in court about being an uneducated man. And he said, how dare you say that? I thirst for knowledge. I learn as much as I can. And if I don't have the answer, I surround my people with the people that have the answer. And they said, well, that shows you're not educated. He says, no, educate means from the Latin to draw information from, to bring it out. So always remember, know enough education to make sure that things are done right and surround yourself with talented t people that can help you complete in the areas that, that you can't do. or you Because or, 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 there's too much information, you've got to pick the information that makes you a success. There you go. And you know what, Mike? We can educate people too because that's what we both do with our clients. So pest control companies, uh, wildlife companies, lawn care companies, or any home service business, really, if you're stuck, if your business is not growing, or if it's not growing as fast as you would like for it to grow, there's a reason why. There may be multiple reasons why, but that's what we do. Uh, we help people identify those reasons, and we give them solutions, and we help them get those businesses cranked up where they're going from maybe 2, 4, 8, 10, 15% growth up to somewhere between 25 and 45% growth, which is it's just monstrous to them so uh i'd like to treat you to a free hour uh to help you identify uh why your business is not growing as fast as you would like for it to we'll under uh uncover some hidden challenges you may have that are sabotaging you and the growth of your business and keeping you working too many hours uh you'll leave the session renewed re-energized and inspired to really turn your business into a highly profitable revenue generating machine that practically runs itself. If you would like to know more about how to do that, give me a call at 770-993-0004. Uh, I have a questionnaire I'll send to you to fill out about your, your business and your marketing, your advertising, and gives me a ton of information about how I can help you. I look for the low hanging fruit in there that you have to really bend over to get underneath, uh, where we can really make some changes quick to your business. And, and, and that hour won't cost you one penny. So, uh, if you're interested, most people won't be because they don't want to learn anything new, but if you do and you are, all you have to do is give me a call and Mike, how would they reach you if they want to know more about the online uh, area of your expertise. Well, you can check out all the things I do at MikeStewartCoaching.com, but you know, since you're a listener to this podcast, call me at 770-826-3662, and I love to talk to you and love to schedule up a time to maybe look at what's going on with your business, what's going on with your online world, and, and your social media, and, and, and the marketing power of video and audio. There's so many things that, uh, you know, I, I, in fact, I probably I'll, I'll put up the testimonial from one of our best students, Kobe McConnell. Uh, need to, I'll put that on the page here. So you come back to PestControlMarketingPodcast.com and look at the links and, and you'll see the phone numbers and more importantly, that you can see this testimonial. Um, it's, it's all about learning what to do and taking action. And that's what um, most people don't do. So don't let that be one. If you want to be successful, learn what to do. Every successful person I've ever met, every millionaire speaker I've ever met, all had a coach, some another pair of eyes to point out things that they don't see. Uh, it doesn't mean that the coach is smarter than you, it's just another pair of eyes that can help you see things in a different way. I've had coaches, I've done, I've been educated with online information programs, I've learned software, I've learned so much and I continue learning. 
But you know what? If you think you know everything and you're not willing to get an education on things, you don't know what you don't know. And these are the opportunities. So give me and Hal a call. And I'm going to get out of here because it's a beautiful day. And because of my online business, I'm going to go cruising on the lake. Well, I'm going to go uh, visit my elderly mother. And then I'm going to kick back and uh, cook up something on the grill later. So with that, Mike, it's been fun as always, folks. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, PestControlMarketingPodcast.com. Subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.